Now the first step is to restart your computer. Just restart your computer once and after the system restart you can check. Next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this uh, type in graphics settings in the window search box and then click on graphics settings. Now click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder. Open the game folder. Open this project click folder binaries win64. Select this win64 shipping file. Click on add. Scroll down. Find the game in the list. Once you find the game select high performance and you will see your graphic card over here. Now you can check. Again click on add desktop app and then you can go back. Select this exe file. Click on add. Once the game is added click on the game and then select high performance and then you can launch the game and then check. Nvidia users also go to desktops click on show more option go to Nvidia control panel. Now once the Nvidia control panel is open now go to manage 3D settings click on program settings over here and then click on add go to the game install. If you see the game over here you can select the game from here. If you don't see the game click on browse and then go to this location select this exe file click on open and then click on once the game is added over here now select high performance nvidia processor over here at the bottom right click on apply and once this is done now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to desktop users uh, connect your display cable or sdmi cable to the dedicated graphic card slot so for this uh, if your computer has a dual graphic card like me so in my case i have intel and the nvidia graphic card so make sure that you connect the power uh, sorry the display cable or hdmi cable to the dedicated graphic card slot not the intel graphic card slot now the next step is to rename this slpcl.dll file now for this uh, go to the game installation folder make a right click on the game select manage click on browse local files and then open the engine folder plugins folder runtime nvidia streamline binaries third party win64 here you can see the, the file in my case i have already renamed it so in your case you will find this slpcl.dll file so you can create a backup first so copy this file and you can create a backup now once you have a backup created so i have i already have a backup so once you have a backup of this file now you can make a right click and then you can rename it or you can even delete it rename it this file and then you can check still not working the next step is to rename or delete the config folder now for this uh, open file explorer go to this pc open c drive now open users folder your username folder open app data if you don't see app data at the top click on views select show put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder local folder project plague folder saved folder here you can see config folder if you want to create a backup you can create a backup once you have a backup created now you can delete this folder or you can rename this folder now once you rename it or delete it now you can launch the game and then check still not working rename the save game files now before you rename the save game files create a backup first because you will lose all the game progress you have to start everything from scratch to rename the save game files uh, go to the same location go back back this is the location and then here you can see project play make a right click copy this full paste it to the desktop once you have a backup created now you can rename this folder once you rename it now you can launch the game and then check you already have the original folder so if you want to get the backup you can put the folder back to the same location now the next next step is to run this file i don't have this file in the let me check make a right click manage browse local files and check if you have this file 
yeah so there it is make a right click and then click on open file location this is the location and then make a right click and then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow if you see install option hit install if you see uninstall option hit uninstall and then reinstall make a right click click on run as administrator click on yes to allow and then put a check over here then click on install and let the installation complete once this is complete now you can launch the game and then check now close this and launch the game next step is to install this dx file now let me check okay so copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website and here you can see the download option hit download and then run this exe file click on yes to allow accept next uncheck this bing bar next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and then launch the game still not working the next step is to try power saver mode now for this type in control panel and then go to hardware and sound and then go to power options now once you go to power of option over here you can see balanced option in my case i have only balanced but in your case you might see multiple option like this power saver so if you see power saver uh, select power saver and then relaunch the game you can even try balanced and then check you can even try high performance check which one is working fine for you now also if you're using this intel extreme tuning utility software if you are not using it you can install it you can search in google install it and then you can go to performance score ratio if this is set to like 59x or 58x you can try 56x or maybe 55x or 53x and then hit apply and then you have to relaunch the game and then check still not working the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder now for this go to steam make a right click on the game select manage click on browse local files go to the game installation folder open this project play folder binaries win64 and then find the game exe file this win64 shipping make a right click then just make a double click launch the game from here and then check if that does not work make a right click go to properties go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on okay make a double click launch the game and then check still not working this time put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on okay if that does not work you can even try windows 7 over here hit apply click on okay launch the game try disable full screen optimization hit apply click on okay and then check if you face any trouble if you face any problem then still not working in that case you can uncheck this boxes and then hit apply and then follow the next step next step is to now allow the game exe file to window security so open window settings go to privacy and security window security virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow add in allowed app browse all apps go to the game installation folder select all the exe file once added now type in control panel go to system and security windows defender firewall allow an app or features through windows defender firewall change settings allow another app click on browse again add all the exe file in my case i have already added again click on allow another app browse select this one add select the first exe file as well open add in my case i have already added uh, the game once the game is added over here now you can launch the game and then check next step is to now if you are using any third party antivirus like avast norton bitdefender mcafee 
Do the same thing. Allow the game exe file, all the exe file to your antivirus program. Next step is to launch game using NVIDIA app. So you can open NVIDIA app and then you can go to home and you will see the game over here. Uh, you can click on play over here. You can even go to settings and then if you see the optimize option over here, hit optimize. If the game is already optimized, in that case, you can revert the optimization over here and then you can launch the game and then check. Now, the next step is to enable or disable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Now for this, you can open Windows settings and then go to display system, then go to display, scroll down, go to graphics over here, click on advanced graphics settings. If hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, if this is off, turn it on and then relaunch the game. If this is already on, turn it off, relaunch the game and then check. Next step is to perform clean installation of your graphics card driver. So go to NVIDIA website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website, install the latest graphic card driver. If you see your, uh, select your graphic card over here, select your operating system, click on find. Now on this page, you will see GeForce Game Ready Driver, whichever is the latest graphic card driver, click on view and then click on download. And once the download is complete, run this exe file. Now, once you run the exe file, you will see this. You will click on yes to allow and then click on OK. Then, it, then you will see this screen. Click, click on agree and continue. Set a custom option. Click on next. Put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Click on next. After the clean installation, restart your game. And then launch the game and then check. Next step is to try DX11 or DX12 in the launch option. So make a right click on the game, select properties in the launch option, type in dash DX11. Now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work. You can even try dash DX12 over here. And then you can launch the game and then check still not working. Remove this, follow the next step. Now the next step is to roll back graphics card driver. So if the latest graphic card driver is not working, uh, then you can select your graphic card and when you are on this page, scroll down, click on view more versions. So if the latest graphic card driver is not working, you can install maybe the previous one, 576.88 or maybe 576.80. But when you go for installation, make sure that you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then click on next. And then after the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to Verify the game files. Now make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game and then check. Next step is to install Visual C++ file. For this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Scroll down here. You can see Visual Studio file. Download this x86 and x64 and run both the exe file. If you see repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. Run this x86 file as well. Again, if you see repair, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install and let the installation complete. Once installed, now restart your computer. And then check. Next step is to update the system BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number and update the BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer when you update the system BIOS. Next step is to update Windows to the latest version. For this, open Windows settings, go to Windows update and then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed, restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to unplug all the external devices from the computer. So if you have any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnect it, which you're not using. If you have OTAs, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnect it. Disconnect extra controller connected to the computer. Disconnect multiple monitor. Try launching the game on single monitor. If you have Steam overlay enabled, you can just make a right click on the game, select properties. Turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game and then launch the game. If you have any other overlay application like Discord running, Go to Discord settings, turn off overlay. If you have NVIDIA app running, you can go to NVIDIA app. Open NVIDIA app and then you can go to settings and then turn off this NVIDIA overlay. If this is on, turn it off. And close all the overlay application and then check. Also, if you have overclocked your computer, set the overclocking to default. Close all the overclocking application like if you have MSI after burner, revert unit. 
close it. If you have any kind of third party application or services running, close it and close it from the task manager as well. Remove the unrevoked. Now, if you are able to launch the game, uh, you, then you can perform this step. If you are not able to launch the game, you can skip this step. If able to launch the game, set the game exe priority to high. For example, when you launch the game, you can go to task manager. So after you launch the game, uh, you can go uh, make a right click on the start menu and then go to task manager and find the game in process over here in the process tab. Uh, you will see the game over here. Uh, so here you can see the game, make a right click on the game and then go to details. So click on go to details and over here you will see the game, make a right click this one. Make a right click and then click on set priority and you can set it to above normal or maybe high and then click on change priority. Do the same thing with the second exe file. Make a right click, set priority, set it to high and then click on change priority and then you can check the performance. Now, also you can try window mode, lower down graphics settings and turn off frame generation. So once you launch the game, you can go to game settings. Now go to settings over here and then go to graphics settings. Now over here you can try window mode. If the resolution, if this is set to 4K, you can try 1920 into 1080p. You can even lower down more. And you can try VSync both on and off and check which one is working fine for you. Overall quality, if this is set to like ultra, you can set it to high. You can even select mid over here. And make sure whenever you make changes, confirm the changes. Mid. Now, once you confirm the changes, now go to advanced graphics settings. And over here, if you are using DLSS or if you are using FSR, then in that case, turn off frame generation. If this is on, turn it off. Or you can even try TSR. In my case, I will just set it to TSR. And everything else I have set it to low or medium quality over here. And now you can check the performance. Now still not working. Let me close the game. Now still not working. The next step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, you can make a right click on the game, select manage, click on uninstall. After the uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder and then restart your computer and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive or E drive or any external drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check if the game is already installed to C drive, then try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.